My question is to the Treasurer. Can the current Treasurer name any other Treasurer in the last 100 years that has a worse record than him on waste, rorts, debt, deficits, annual growth and real wages? The Treasurer has the call. Mr Speaker, I'll tell you what I'm very Order. proud of. I'm tell you what I'm very proud of. After the first recession in nearly 30 years, unemployment today is lower than it was under Labor, Mr Speaker. Lower than it was under Labor. The fact that today we have trade apprentices in the highest number on record. The fact today that Oh no. On the point of order? Speaker, the point of order is relevance. The question was, has there been a bigger disaster of a Treasurer than him? And the answer is no. Well, the, uh, the member for Rankin may not like the answer, but it was asked in such a way that you asked for whether there was a worse record on waste. So uh, the, treasurer, the, treasurer is, the Treasurer has the call. Mr Speaker, today, today we've seen home, first home buyers the member for, in the market... The, mem the member for, for Wills is warned. Today we've seen first home buyers in the market in the highest numbers in more than a decade, Mr Speaker. Today we've seen, as a result of programs like JobKeeper, more than 700,000 jobs saved. Today we have more women in the Australian workforce than under Labor, Mr Speaker. Today the gender pay gap is narrower than it was under Labor, Mr Speaker. In the last three months, we have seen more than $10 billion in tax relief to more than 11 million Australians. As a result of policies supported by those on this side of the House, an Australian who's on $60,000 a year is $6,480 better off, Mr Speaker. $6,480 better off. And as a result of the business investment incentives, the biggest on record that we put in recent budgets, Mr Speaker, we have seen investment in machinery and equipment more than 20% higher. That's the strongest growth in machinery and equipment investment in more than 20 years, Mr Speaker. Small businesses. We have seen the company tax rate for small businesses come down to 25%, the lowest in 50 years. We have seen small and medium-sized businesses create 600,000 jobs between April last year and September this year. That's 1,300 jobs a day, Mr Speaker, of policies under this side of the House. Now, I tell you what, Mr Speaker, I tell you one Treasurer who didn't do as well as that, and that was the former member for Lilly, Wayne Swan, Mr Speaker, because the member for Rankin learned at his learned at his footsteps, Mr Speaker, and the member for Lilly said after the train wreck of the last election, three hundred and eighty seven million dollars of member high for taxes that the Labor Party should not resign from those tax hikes, Mr Speaker. And you know who was the architect? of those higher taxes, the member for Rankin. Sneaky, 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 Mr Speaker, because when they, when they get another chance on the Treasury benches, they're only going to do one thing, they're going to hit Australians with higher taxes. Order.